Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the panel grid tag. Now, what does this panel grid tag does? So as you can see in this picture, it places the every element in a cell. So a cell is nothing but, let's say you have created a table here and this is the row. So this particular thing is called as a cell. What does this tag does? It renders an HTML table element in which each component in the body of tag is placed into a corresponding cell in the first row until the number of columns is reached. So let's say if you have specified the number of columns as three, then what will happen is the first element that you are trying to enter will go at this location. The second element will go at this location. The third element you will go at this location. So because when the number of columns that you have specified is three, so the fourth element that you're trying to add will go at this location. Okay, so the first element will go here, the second will go here, the third will go here, and then fourth will go to the next row. Similarly, if instead of specifying the columns number to be three, you have specified the column number to be four, in that case, what will happen is the first element will go at this position. The second element, if you're trying to add, will go at this location. The third element will go here and there will be another fourth one because you have specified the columns to be four. Then if you're trying to add next element, it will not go to the next column. It will go to the next row here and it will be placed in the first cell of the next row. So this is what is the purpose of the panel grid. So it is going to arrange your elements in a form of a table like structure where you're going to specify the total number of columns. And if you specified total number of columns here is three. So in that case, the fourth element went here. So that is what the panel grid does. So renders an HTML table element in which each component found in the body of this panel grid is placed into a corresponding cell in the first row until the number of columns is reached. So if let's say you specified five as the number of the columns, so up to five elements will go to the first row. And when you're trying to add the next element, the sixth element, it will automatically go to the first row of the next row. So the first element will go here, the second will be here, third and fourth and fifth, if you have specified the column number to be five. Now, where do you specify this column number? You specify the column number in the panel grid attribute. So there is an attribute called column. That's where you specify that how many columns will be there. In the next tutorial, we are going to go ahead and design a UI which will look something like this. It will have three columns and you're going to add elements in the form of this table. And uh, you can see here there is a border as well. So there is an attribute if you wanted to add the border to this grid, you can go ahead and specify the width of the border using the border attribute in the panel grid tag. We're going to go ahead and talk about the different attributes and how to arrange the elements inside of a grid. All that in the next tutorial. So I will see you then. Thank you.